Candidates are starting to find out if they made the March primary ballot, but a law that hasn't been used in decades has just disqualified a Northeast Ohio contender, and it's because of her name. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow goes in-depth about why her legal name is blocking her from running and how she is trying to now to get back on the ballot. And your vote is cast. Thank you. The Ohio primary is coming up, and Vanessa Joy collected all the signatures she needed to run for state representative in Stark County. The only thing that we can do is try to fight back, and that's what... That's why there are so many trans candidates in Ohio. She's a trans woman, one of the three running for state rep. But she just learned she won't be on the ballot. I would have had to have my dead name on my petitions. In the trans community, our dead names are dead. There's a reason it's dead. That is a dead person. Dead names are the former names of many transgender people. Even though Joy legally changed her name and her birth certificate, which she provided to the county board, a lesser known law is preventing her from running due to when she changed changed her name. Legal expert Atiba Ellis explains the law from the 90s requires all candidates to list on their signature petitions any name changes within five years. It would be fair for the candidate to disclose their identity, including prior names, so that the people and their representatives in the state government would be able to vet that person. Joy says she wished she had a heads up. Something this important should have been on the instructions, should have been on the petition. Not only is there nowhere to put it, it isn't included in the Secretary of State's 2024 candidate guide. We reached out to the office with clarifying questions, but did not hear back. If it is selectively enforced, that raises the question of whether the use of such provisions would be discriminatory. The other trans candidates running for office also didn't know the law, but they were both certified by their boards. We reached out to dozens of lawmakers who are married to ask if they've had this problem when they changed their name, but they've all been married for longer than five years. Do you think that this law will prevent trans people from running in the future? Um, well, yes, I think it will. Um, Undoubtedly. It's unclear what will happen to the other candidates, but Joy has until Friday to appeal. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.